Jonathan Ellis here. I'm a verified Spooky2 trainer. And what I'd like to do is share something that Stephanie Ah came up with um, that is just fantastic. And um, it has to do with imprinting. And if you're doing this already, that's terrific. And um, if you're not, you'll be getting into it soon enough. It's really very cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, she calls this the rogue method, by the way, but I think it's going to be the method that takes over and becomes the standard method. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to demo this, how this works, is I'm going to put in pain. I'm going to search for pain uh, possibilities here. And there are lots of them, right? Lots of them. I'm looking to imprint pain frequencies, I'm just picking whatever I want here, just going by, you know, what I feel. Notice this showed up in here. That showed up because I have, I'm gonna skip over here to my control. I have things running here. And when things are running, sometimes if you have a lot of um, machines, sometimes it will take over and place things where you don't want them. And the simplest way around this is just to pause them. Just pause everything else, right? So now that's all paused. I can go back to my programs, continue my process, right? I'm picking all these different possible pain frequencies, things that can be problematic. And I'm just doing it at random. You know, these are powerful, so I'm picking them, right? I used this the other day. I did something like this yesterday, actually. And um, the results were, were just remarkable. Very quick to do. And that's why I'm choosing to do this. It's, it's the best. It's the best. So these are random. Again, all this is random. You would go through and pick the things that stand out to you. Uh, pick a bunch of these, fibromyalgia, right? Why not? You're going, oh my God, you're building up a lot of time here. That's right, I am. There's a lot, right? So just for now, we're gonna say that's enough. I'm going to get rid of this thing here, right? Because I obviously don't want that from my pain program. And I'm gonna load what I've selected. And what have I got? 16 hours and 36 minutes, right? That's a ridiculous amount, right? You wouldn't, you wouldn't have something like this, but bear with me here. What I'm gonna do, and this is all according to Stephanie's document for the most part. I've changed some things to make it easier, but um, you'll see that this works pretty well. And I'm gonna save them. And I'm gonna call this pain test. I always give myself notation. She calls this a rogue program. I call it the AW method. I'm giving myself notation and I'm letting myself know that I have made this reduction right here. The dwell is normally 180, which translates to three minutes, right? 180 translates to three minutes. By doing this, by telling this 0.5, I'm telling it rather than running a frequency for three minutes, I want it to run for half a second, right? This is surprising. To me, this is like using a camera, taking a photograph, you know, like a film camera, exposing the plate, right? Exposing the film for a very split second and the camera transforms that into an image. I believe that we're doing that with frequencies and imprinting. So I'm gonna save this and tell it yes. Where's that going to be? It's going to be in my custom programs and I can find that very easily by just dragging down to the bottom, right? You'll see that I have one that I already did. This is the one I used yesterday but I wanted to show how to build this. And notice the one I did yesterday is different, right? I chose different things, but 
like I said, this was random, I chose them. So I'm gonna go back over to presets. I'm gonna go shell empty presets. I'm gonna choose remote. I'm going to choose universal square HBOM in this case. I'm gonna to go to my programs. I'm gonna choose what I just created, my test program. I'm gonna load it, right? I'm not gonna change anything here other than this, which I want to be zero, right? I want the sequence to repeat over and over and over again without stopping. I'm also going to tell it remove frequencies. I could have done this before, but it really doesn't make any difference. I'm choosing to do it now. And I'm going to settings and I'm clicking right here, which turns this into a dual program. I'm leaving everything else the same, everything. Notice that this is now 34 seconds long. That's right. So what was 16 hours is now 34 seconds. This is as hard to believe as that remote functionality works, right? But I encourage you to test the results of a thing like this, and you will discover for yourself the reality of it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save that. You know, I always save these things, and I'm going to save that. And I'm going to go to my experimental. I have a bunch of different things. And I did this before. I'm just going to overwrite the one that I did. And I'm going to tell it to save. So now I have that, right? Notice the way it's named. Notice the way it's named. That's right here. Right? Pain test. I'm giving credit to Stephanie. It's the US HB, Universal Square H bomb, and imprint, right? I'm telling myself what this is. And, and it's showing up here and it's showing up here. I'm giving myself this, this information. Now I check to see, yep, those are zero. I check to see, because this is a preset. I preset everything, right? I'm going to control, I'm going to overwrite generator, that's generator four. Now, this is here and ready to run. What's the first thing I'm going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sticker into the, let's see if I can drag this over here so you can see it. It's probably going to show you both. <laughs> I think you should be able to see this, though. Let's see if I can make it just, just this. No, I don't want that. I think you can see this pretty well. What I'm doing here is I'm taking this. This is a sticker that I've put into a little envelope. You don't need. Uh, uh, you know, these are regular stickers that we've all seen now. And I'm putting it into this little envelope. You don't have to have this kind of envelope. You can just take a piece of paper and fold it over, right? It really doesn't matter. You just want it big enough so that you can slide it into the remote. So I'm doing that here, right? I kind of like to have it this way. And I make sure that's secure. And now that's ready to go. Now it's off at this point. I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to tell this to start. Now it's going to run like crazy. It's only 34 seconds long. In the meanwhile, I'm going to come back up to my global and unpause the rest of my generators because they don't have to be paused anymore. I just did that while I was building this. And this is just pushing along. So what's happening here is it's running through all those frequencies half a second at a time. And because it's dual, it's pumping back and forth. But all those frequencies are being imprinted, all of them. And it just now reached the end of the first run. It just now reached that, so 34 seconds. So just on basic thoughtfulness, I go, yeah, let's let this run for a full 
five minutes, right? Why not? I've got the time. Five minutes is nothing compared to 16 hours. I mean, just a little bit of overkill here. Right now, it's about halfway done. Now, I don't really need this, so I'm going to show you how I remove the material. So I'm just reaching in here, and I'm removing it just like that. Notice that I've done that while this is still running. The reason I do that is if I leave the sticker in the remote and I stop it, what's going to happen is the magnets that are in the remote will eliminate the, the imprint. So you certainly don't want to do that. So that's the trick. That's all of it right there. You would let this run its duration. Even at this point, it's probably pretty powerful. You take the sticker out and use it on any point where you're experiencing pain. And I'm telling you, this really does the trick. It works. And this, you know, doing pain like this is really, it's telling, right? It's telling because it's such an immediate effect. You get it right away. You know that it's working. I'm going to stop this now. It doesn't need to run. Anyway, I hope this is, you know, something that works for you. <laughs> so there I am. I will see you around the uh, Facebook pages, and it's pretty easy to find me if you want to. All right. Take care.